we got contradicting love. Say that again. Mm-hmm. We got contradicting love. So let's go fight again, just to make up again. I say the coldest things, and you get hot again. I've been trying to run from love, you got me running in, oh. Have you ever wondered how funny it is when you meet friends from way back and the first thing they do is still a glance at your ring finger? Mm-hmm. I wonder why though. Because me, I ain't got time for shit like that. And yes, I am single. The girls, especially the married ones, they give you this pity look. Like, don't worry, your time will come. Why the guys? They just start hitting on you. <laughs> Dude, I know say I defy man. What is ever rich like that? Anyway, before I start rambling on and about my single Pringle ass, my name is Denise. I usually don't like to add my last name because I believe single names like Cher, Per, Rihanna, Ciara are cute and powerful. So yes, my name is Denise and I'm my own boo. Although being single can be tiring, Sha. I mean, look at me. I am beautiful, successful. So, it's not like I'm coming to burden you or anything. I have an amazing job that I love. And it also supports my baby girl lifestyle. So, yes. Now, only man I no get. It can't be like saying, only me wakako. That's my bestie, married with two kids. She know they ever agree me rest. Hello, Nick. I got you so. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> BBC News, what's up? Nkem just got engaged. Ah, Nkem. Which Nkem is it? Nkem that slept with your ex, I be bossing Nkem. The one that slept with my ex, sorry. Anyways, I heard she's now born again. And she's engaged to a very rich pastor. Nkem born again. See, confess to. Since you are where you did, those Abuja guys, they know they see you. How far your side now? Be you and this girl and that come and all the of my men. Everybody for said don't marry, finish. What are you waiting for? How far? Babe. Babe. You see this talk, eh? This talk where you won't start so eh. I'm not just being the mood that babe. Make you not free me small now. If it's not my mom, it's my sister. Now, wow! Okay, oh well, yeah. Sorry. Mm. Anyhow, try fine, man. I love you. I love you too. Hmm? <sighs> if it's not Silky, it's my mom or sis. Like, what did they happen? Make you not free me now. It can't be like say to find man for this Abuja don't do the hard do. They said you should not be afraid to kiss a frog because he may turn into a prince. I beg I don't kiss Taya. I never see prince. Miko, Miko, now leave me. Hello, how's How's your boo? Victor, I beg you, broken up one like two minutes ago, sir. Look, I just see what the guy do. So, anytime I go out with this, my very bossy friend, you know her now. Victor will just go and eye for her body. Me, I know this man has anything, do you understand? Then, one day, he came up with this talk about having a threesome. Hmm? As I said, hey, it's him. <laughs> it's okay, let me play along. I said no wahala. He was so excited. Next thing he said I should ask my friend if she would be interested. He said what? <laughs> I was like, what? I said me. Like I was just still playing along. Do you understand? Like I was thinking everything was burnt now. Do you know that a few weeks later he brought it up again? I still continue playing along. Just for me to be in my office. This girl came. Showing me screenshots of my boyfriend, Nadine, playing the fool. Can you imagine?
Kachi, we told what is in a better person. Kai, sorry. How are you dealing with the heartbreak? Mm. My dear, what cannot kill us only makes us stronger. But it's just so annoying. Why are men like this? I said, we'll just be thinking that we are in a monogamous relationship. But right, these guys are just. Like, I was just thinking that I was in a monogamous relationship. Meanwhile, Boo just did it, they didn't do anyhow. With my friend, Fa, my friend. Haba. Relationship has run its course. Babe, everything, everything has become so routine and boring. Just imagine, I'm already tired. What happens if we end up together? You're a good person. You're an amazing boyfriend and lover. But I don't feel it. And I'm tired. I'm tired of pretending I find your dry jokes amusing. I'm... Henry, we just... Spring comes like it's something in the air at that time. Don't know why. Always dream of you when spring comes. It's like the heat on my skin takes me by through the time. Met you on a Friday, halfway out at the door of the club, playing soul on the weekend. Staying
by the way that is why you should never go through your partner's phone because you will definitely see something that will hurt you Baby girl, <laughs> I met this cute man now at the mm. party and then we started talking. Mm. Small things, small things, play, play. <laughs> it's cause they make a picture of him. Hey baby girl, he wants to do this. Nah, like. Hey! Now you be girl, no. Baby girl, this guy is fine. I've been making As a matter of fact, Zev, he's coming to my house this evening. This thing, mm. my dear, is spectacular. I've been making a scene. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I've been making a This best man, no between the boys. I don't know. I beg you, get me say your name that TJ. You get the full picture. Check, 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 check. See. Hell. Ah. Tunde. As in, today your boyfriend. The guy where I just started on the date last week. Oh. Last week, this guy has been on my case for over a year. That's sweet. And my boyfriend did that. We what? We move. Anywho, thank God for blessing women with endless optimism because it can't be like say you dash me double portion. We keep bouncing back. Anyhow, I need to start going because my colleague hooked me up with this hot tea. And maybe this time the frog will be a prince for real.
chicken. Like, just like that. I swear. <laughs> I was still trying to unzip his fly and the next thing he came. Ah, why are you laughing? It's my situation funny. Oh, no, no, no. Your situation is not funny. Why are you laughing? It's not funny. It is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Babe. Ah, don't suffer. Ah, no, <laughs> Babe. <laughs> I drink something, drink something, drink something. How did I go from having a nightmare to a sex dream? That is what happens when you're sex stuck, my darling. <laughs> See that? Right? Or you go test yourself for malaria, because it could actually be it. Really? Well, you should go out and go get some. Hmm. See, right. I need to rush home now, yeah? Mm -hmm. See you later, Tatum. Alright, bye. Yeah. You can't imagine how I felt when I kissed your face. So we already broken up. Wasn't that why you almost hooked up with the other guy the other day? No, we were not. We were just on a break. And that, that was an almost mistake and I'm glad it didn't happen. I was just lonely and horny and... I know for sure he has a girl who has been spending nights at his. But no, no, we were not broken up. We were just on a break. Protector, protector. I don't get. I really don't get. All of a sudden, he was worrying about my job, about the number of people I met at work. That guy, he knew I was managing a big ass club before we started dating. Telling me how all his friends are teasing him about the number of Abuja big boys I'm chumming with. Saying this, saying that, and saying how I was most likely cheated on him. Like, I was faithful to that human and did not do anything. And then that day, he comes and he goes, I want to see your phone in that very demanding tone. And then I say no. It's not because anything was on my phone, but like why would you be asking me that one? Then when I did give him my phone, he, he got angry, he said a bunch of stuff, and then he said, I need a break. We need to take a break. We need to sort out our priorities. And then he stormed out and ghosted me. Then two months later, he's, he broke up with me via text. Just 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 imagine like. He broke up with me the other time. He broke up with me the other time. He broke up with me. He broke up with me. I've not cried this much since that night of October 20th. I 
contradicting love. Say that again. Mm-hmm. We got contradicting love. I'm sure your mom told you how we were when we were in our early 20s. Like, always having fun, parties back to back, no dolling. But she says you rarely leave the house. Huh, this is my niece, sir. Do you even have a boyfriend? Yes, ma'am. I do. Really? <laughs> For yes. how long now? Well, it's been about two years now. So you mean you've had a boyfriend for two years and your favorite aunt didn't even know about it? So sometimes she bothers you. I think you are way more interesting than you make us think. How many other guys do you have? Well, it's just me and him. We are doing a monogamous relationship. Mm. <clears throat> so you never cheated? Me saying I only want to kill all the job for two years. Yes, now. Hmm. It's a doll. That's so old school. Just one guy for two years, two whole years. Well, what's the problem? Is it that other guys don't find you attractive or something? As a general rule, I don't find other men attractive. And I love my man. And it satisfies me. So why should I not look around? That's so weird. And so wrong. Variety they say is the spice of life. And then if you haven't just only just one cock, how are you supposed to know if what he's doing isn't right? Uh, Dennis, I hope you don't have the same mentality with your year friend. <sighs> well, <clears throat> the right to the this facts of life and I'm a strong believer of the right to the same. Well, they also say in our systems, if I don't know my if there's something wrong with my man's technique, I'm not looking to change it or even cheat self. It's been problem that girls who don't have fun before marriage. They always keep wondering and they always want to make up for what they missed. Unlike us, the ones that have done everything, we have tried everything in the book. Like we have seen it all and done it all. So for us, there is no temptation whatsoever. So you just like Pandora's box to see. If she never opened the box, she would have kept wondering what's inside. So you, you just, you're just going to keep wondering. And it's not wrong because you're wondering could I, would I, should I, what you should have gotten. Well, I see. So, we are trying to say that she cheats on a man. He's your boyfriend, not your husband. And I can bet you a thousand dollars you're not the only one he's born. Yes, now. I mean, you think you're the only one. Don't be silly, deceive, my dear. Men can never be satisfied with just one. Monogamy is like it's not normal for them now. Like my husband now, with all the sex I give him, all the different styles, he still cheats on me. <laughs> I'm not bothered about that, and I know I'm not going to cheat on him back, but I just don't want him to bring any disease attachment. That's all. Mm. I always tell the girls in my family to always have fun before marriage. Because by the time they'll be married, you just face your business, face your marriage. See, when I was saying my, my wedding day, when I was saying my wedding vows, I was crying non-stop. The only reason I was crying was because I knew I was sentencing myself to just one prick for the rest of my life. Man, Imagine wow. that. Just one prick. Mm. Meanwhile, my husband is gallivanting mm -hmm. from one yash to the other. Mm -hmm. See, don't let anybody tie you down before marriage. Monogamy in an ordinary relationship is overrated. That's bullshit. Yeah, right. That's very true. You know, men just promise you that you are the only one. Whereas they have plan A, plan B, plan C. Some even have up to plan Z. <laughs> and then if it's a woman that has another partner, they tell her, hey, mm -hmm. And then I wonder, where did gender equality go to? And it's not only when they want to show up, they remember mm -hmm. gender equality. That's true. Oh, you see, I always tell young girls, single girls like you, to always have fun before marriage. Or oh, did I tell you how this one came about? <laughs> no, no, you didn't. So. <clears throat> ah. Okay, this was as a result of the quickie, cinema quickie with my husband. 
<laughs> yeah, please uh, pass me the cake, please. After everything we've said here, you still want to be monogamous with your boyfriend, that's fine. But at least try to inject some kind of fun and spontaneity into your relationship. Hello! Help! Nne! You don't know what I do just now. As in, I go bad person pain. How did that happen? Ha! I still make I come up from parking lot now. Now they must talk. You know I'm very busy. I was still pressing my phone and stuff. That's why I just take jam the face like hey. I still make I can't come outside, I can't apologize. Oh no, if you see this guy. Oh like you see this guy, it's too fine. I don't even fit apologize properly. I just this stammer. Even this perfume say wow. oh they give me goosebumps. Come on, I will take to this thing. When I talk to I go pain now, as a baby girl, I don't feel for my heart. I do bad, it's like saying I'm front light, I be back light, now I'm bad. It's like saying I'm front light, I'm bad. And he collected my number, he said he would call me and he would tell me to you. And he said that, but it's fine, now the matter be that it's too fine. <laughs> oh God. So Desmond, the guy whose car I batched, instead of me to get a bill, I got an invitation to a date. He wanted to come pick me, but I decided to go with my car. I like to go with my cars on first dates, just in case I need to leave quickly. So wish me luck, peeps. Pretty hard, that's a love. You're the type of girl, maybe God would... Hello. Ola, can you imagine that very stupid boy? Yeah. The guy with the bends now. Okay. He asked me to go out with him on a dinner. I said, okay, we went out to this classy place, nice conversation. We got talking. And then we went outside. And I asked him about the bill. He said he just used it as an excuse to get my number. No wahala, we talk small. I tell her, I say I want to go as per any day tomorrow now. Nine Baba won't hug me. Me self, I don't mind. You get. As far as I don't eye the chest all evening. Now as with a hug, oh, nine this guy just press my ass. Oh my God! I don't even know when I take slap him. If you see the slap, you don't forget him for a life. He's mad. Sorry, man. You know sometimes men can mistreat kids. Hmm. I cannot remember. I cannot remember giving him the hint that I wanted somebody to press my ass this night. Maybe he found out how we are feeling each other. See, that shit is serious sexual assault. I feel so insulted. Sorry, Jerry. See, just go and rest. He's not worth filming over. Oh, yeah, man. Seriously? Big, I don't hear. <laughs> Come on, Jerry. Bye, bye. Talk for hours, we got face to face. The primary stages. Yeah. You can't imagine how I felt when I kissed your face. Had me smiling the entire Never gonna make 
something that could make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just mental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do I got a different path from everyone and that includes you who are you to tell me how to live life? In these times, it feels like nobody's right, yeah So I'ma figure out what else we succeed And then invest all of my time into that and proceed I need whatever the hell could make me happy And I don't think you have a clue, what could that be? They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing They tell me that I'm never gonna make it Could be special if I get rid of the devils They think that I am a rebel I think they want me to settle There's nobody on my level They think that work is too stressful I think that work is essential The grind is all in your mental And I don't think you understand what I'll go through Just to be in control of my life soon All the negativity, man, I'm immune I don't really need a mask with all I've been through I've been making changes for the ages Five, ten year plans are contagious I attack that shit, I'm tenacious and if you ain't, get the fuck out of my way then Got one life, I won't regret it I will fight until I get it I'll look back one day from heaven And say, damn, I learned some lessons And say, damn, I have no questions I had fun in every second And the journey was a blessing, yeah They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming, I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that with an ex that still has feelings for you. You should ask yourself if it's a good idea. Abed, you don't be hello. Good night. Alright, good night now. Mr. Nicholas Young, 
his family owns the Diva Beauty line, and we'll be handing the account for the next two years. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. Wow. So, we'll be seeing him here often. So, please provide him with any information he would need. Uh, Nick, here we are one big family, and um, we hope that with time you can familiarize with the staff. Um, the portfolio will be distributed to everyone before noon, so we can all go back to work. You can say hi. So this is that David Walters. Sorry, just this. Hi, hi, Walters. She's also a brilliant art designer and has handled a good number of our very popular campaigns. Impressive. I look forward to working with you as we go forward to this campaign. Thank you. Bye, sir. So, um, whatever information you need, you can always feel free to call us and I would uh, familiarize with all of us. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, sir, I'll talk to you later. I'll call you. Just give me a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Good morning. So, Mr. Alper told me that you're good to get for any questions I might have. Yeah, he did. Okay. So, can we maybe discuss this over lunch? Um, I guess. Cool. Okay, just give me a minute to round up. Mm -hmm. I'll call so, you. my home. Anyways, 
like I will sack him and come and join you now your company. Please yeah, bring yeah. her, make him come. Maybe now that one will come be the frog and be with the prince and go to the And he's got beauty for her. He looks like a woman with talent. Watch your face. See your face. Watched everything that I believed in, every single minute that I tell myself that I'm leaving. But it's like water, a fountain, pouring out any way that it pleases. Girl, you got me feeling like I need it. I've been with other girls, but they ended up in pieces. I don't know. It's been long since I felt this in my life. Yeah, it's so crazy that my guy won't have a plan to go to somewhere like already in Nigeria. It's not possible. But this guy, the whole people being at ease. I'm not going to visit Abuja. So but, true. Um, I mean, yeah. it's so true. And then moving to Abuja from London, I loved Abuja for its tranquility. And now it's so rowdy. Get me. Make it easier for you. Mona. Get me. 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 So that, that's why you forget your mother tongue? I speak. Very, very. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, uh ne. -uh. Can we take it easy? I'm sorry, I need to make an important one. the middle of the Hello? <sighs> Babe, how far? What's up? Are you busy? Now, do you want for my food to get ready? <sighs> Next, I, I'm on a lunch date with the Moon and Okinkin now. Really? What an old combo! <laughs> you know that my uncle, his wife died some years ago and he's still very young. So the other day I put up his picture celebrating his chieftaincy title and apparently Muna said she likes him and she has been crushing on him so I hooked them up. It's like she likes older men. Now so say it completely Joe. Older rich men. Muna with her fake life. No be she will go abroad for only one year come back with accent. Here we grow for where come the actor I say she knows speak evil. <laughs> Well, he's handsome and rich, so good for her. Be, I just need you to tell me that I am not silly. What happened? I cannot stop thinking about Nicholas. <laughs> See what? Okay, I know, I know, I know that I am hilarious, but really, I can't stop thinking about him. Like, I know he has a girlfriend who, by the way, is a super model in the abroad, but I can't help myself. Like all week, yeah, we were on a campaign with these models, and if you see the way they've been flaunting, they've been blatantly flirting with this guy. God, this thing has been paining me. Ha! Ah, it paid me die, but I don't even have the right to be jealous. Can you imagine? As in, I really don't know what to do. I can't help myself, honestly. See, I think the only solution here is for me to shoot your shot. How? This guy has a supermodel girlfriend. How do I stand a chance? How? There's really nothing you can do about this. So you can just, you know, strong your chest. Act like nothing is affecting you. Even if I do that, will I not be seeing him in the office? I will not in the same office. I'll still see him in the office now. Or? Quit your job, move to Australia. Or you take it to a sabbatical and stay there. Don't come back till the campaign is over. I don't hear. I'll be with a group before they start to defend me. I'll call you, okay? Can you imagine? Leaving free food to come and wail about man. Swear, that's not how I raised you. Mm, I love you. Bye bye. Mm hmm. Eh, yeah, go. Bye bye. <laughs> Girl, shark. So that was it, so that's how my day went. Like it was so fun. 
graduate me. What was wrong with you? You've been quite off lately. What's happened? My flower they lost. <laughs> Your what? I've not seen my period. I can't find my period. Wait, since when? Hold on. Hola. Hola, was it not me and you that we're not supposed to be getting any? Well, I was three months ago. Remember? Jason. Before the final breakup now. So, one night I got high. I was alone at home. So, I called him. Told him that was an emergency. <laughs> so he rushed down and I jumped his bones see I was so high that night was just a blow I can't remember most things that happened but he left before I woke up and he left this note he said this change is nothing we're still on a break so Apparently, all of that honeyness I was feeling was because I was overlated. I mean, apparently, you fell pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah. You fell pregnant. Yes, I did. So, okay, let me get serious. So, what are your plans? Like, how are you so strong? Like, what? Hold on. Have you even, like, gotten tested? Like, have you confirmed you're pregnant? Mm -mm, not yet. Why? Yes, I'm scared. What if I'm pregnant? For Jason? Like, since that night, I practically blocked everything from my from my memories. I didn't want to remember anything. Until some days ago when I started having some weird ass cravings and feeling nauseous. What if I'm pregnant? Shit. Wait, oh, hold shit, on. Shit, 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 shit. Wait, hey, what if I'm down. pregnant? What ah. if you're not? Come on, you're the one that has been telling me about how irregular your circle has been, right? And you've been stressed lately, so what if you're not pregnant? What if it is the stress that has made you to lose your period? Those are just a lot of what ifs, my dear. Yeah, there are a lot of what ifs, but what if? Come on! Let's just get you tested first, that would be step one. And then if you're pregnant, you're looking at the latest godmother of the world. Yeah, just get tested. I already bought a bunch of them. Like you need to see. Like I practically bought the whole store. They were just looking at me. Oh.
laugh. No, I'm not going to laugh. I may mean, laugh your laugh. You know, you know the one that was so annoying yeah? when he introduced me to her. <laughs> Sorry, continue. <laughs> Let's continue. Exclusive content notes down at me. Ha! I'm going so far. Sorry. And then do you know another thing that even happened? So, as I did now, they drink my champagne. They talk, try to they make small talk to do my colleague who I don't like. I was trying to swallow my pride. Then Nicholas came. Hello, I want to introduce you to somebody. I said, girl that I am now. <laughs> I was still trying to maintain myself. You know, I still compose myself. I'm like, who's this? I followed him. Well, I guess who this human being introduced me to. Talk now. Guess me. What? Unfortunately, we now said yes at the same time. Oh, what's all? It was very awkward. It was cute. <coughs> so it was very awkward, Jerry. We now said, well, um, that's perfect. Um, I'll see you guys later. He left with this um, gleam in his eyes. I know say he go ask best man for interest. Obviously. Oh, Sorry, dear. Babe, leave me. Best man, Kondi, Kondi. Come they act like say we day like <laughs> like say me and um you know like everything is okay everything is fine ha God I feel like see, make I just <laughs> make I just stone my drink the champagne with in my hand and make I just stone her for a face cause she break the glass on top in your drink they go kill you I just want to come out I could not take it anymore sorry sorry babe thank you don't allow them ruin your night really mm -hmm. sorry make I knock you. Better this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, My friend Bumi, she called me this evening. She was almost hysterical. Okay. She is the original Snoop Dogg, correct FBI agent. So her baba went to work and she went snooping. Then she found a ring. She became hysterical. She thinks he wants to propose and she's scared. But that's your goal though. <laughs> that girl go there. Wait, she literally thinks that ring is for her. Oh yeah, I made I just see what's in happen. Recently, yeah, my cousin's boyfriend was just asking her about her opinions on different types of rings, you know. Then, this girl really they balance, they think they want a good jam. Now she see her bobo wedding picture for her friend's picture. Eh? Impression working on. Hey! No, 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 no. This case is different. Seriously. Mm. He is super crazy about her. Like, crazy. So, why she can't they fear me? She should She's go and ready. get a bad ass manicure for her I said yes picture. She's not ready. Wait, she has some life plans and she thinks marriage will mess with them. Why is she not scared now? Because me, I know people that would die for people to propose to them. So, what's making her fun? I just told you, her life plans. So that's why she's scared. When when she see my way will propose propose to her and she's like, form. <laughs> How old is she? She just turned 30. <laughs> you are joking. <laughs> no, you are joking because that girl has to be a clown. This is unbelievable. Calm down. Some girls that will give their eye teeth for a man to propose to them. Ula, look at me now. You didn't say I go see my way go propose to me now. Then I'll go to waste my time for all this careless relationship. Marriage is not for everyone. Does she love him? She does, or she actually does. But she has some life plans and she thinks that getting married now, you mess with them. See, in this love for himself, how do we know it is right? 
How do we know someone is right for us? You see this marriage thing here? Babe, forget. No, be as it is not as easy as it seems so. Are you not seeing the high rate of divorce everywhere? One second, you all are in love with each other like, I love you, I love you, I love you. And the next second, you cannot even stand yourselves. See, marriage is not for everyone. Marriage is not for everyone. But I'm so glad I didn't marry. Did any of you read about Adam and Eve's wedding? Eh? <laughs> Babe, they were basically cohabiting. Simple. Yes, God said, go into the world and multiply. Blah, blah, blah. But I'm saying marriage is not for everyone. It is like that. How come there's some couples who, despite being held, can't conceive? Mm -hmm. Now, they say priests and reverend sisters should not marry. So if some people can be exempted from the institution of marriage because of religious purposes, why can't someone wake up and decide, oh, I don't want to marry? Mm -hmm. Marriage is not for everyone. I believe you. Wait a minute. You can tell me the truth. Just tell me. You don't come out your mind for this one. Marriage. Talk. It is my mind. It is my mind. <laughs> but I insist, it is not for everyone. So, what do you call that you did last time? Seriously, I told her that getting married might not change her plans. Might not mess with her plans. But she was really insistent. She really insisted. So, you live on now? Apparently, <laughs> my baby wants to go to fashion school in Milan. And I will go and try, but I don't get money to get rich send person for fashion school for Milan. Mm -mm. She has a sad. Ha! Wow! No, no! Calm down, Mmm. So, Zadi is willing to send her to Milan for mm. fashion school. Mm. He is he's even going to set aside funds mm. so that when she comes back, she can set up her fashion house. Hmm. Women will shame you. They will always, you just make me distress my head. See, whether the situation just normal. Ha! You know who I even defeat is now that guy. And eh, where she just did cheat on, where they deceive himself, say he get wife and one man. Now who I even defeat, no be with anybody. Imagine, that's not what it is. See, it is the end that will justify the means. Period. Let me women go shame you. My sister, I want to go and say. Very early day at work tomorrow, so I have to go. You will help me to greet your daddy, your boomy, your your friend, <laughs> your everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Help me to greet them. Me. Don't you know, call you my daddy. Bye bye, yo. Good night. Good Let me know when you get home, oh. Shots, I'ma lose my grip. Stay my ground when I move my shit. Yeah. Shotty come true like who that bitch? Yeah. Told the baby I just wanna do my shit. Tryna do me, yawa. No use me play. I'm the type to chop up. My sweet day. Hit that booty like. Put it up on me. Baby, drop all of your insecurities Tryna do me, yawa No use me play I'm the type to shop up I saw it there Hit that booty like Put it up on me Baby, drop all of your insecurities Move that ass like Just of vanity, endlessly seeking for something that you're calling love It's such a voice important, most importantly hoping I don't get lost above But I bet that you're feeling it, while well, I'm killing it 
But fuck it, I'm claustrophobic and it just can't hold it. Yeah, I swear that your pussy. Denise. 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 If, if, what is your problem? I just want a chance to talk with you, Denise. Denise, I'm, I'm really sorry. What I did was presumptuous. I almost bought that song. See, if Harassing. you don't leave me alone, I am just going to scream rip. Idiots. Pick now. Hello? Hello, Ola. See, see, look, I'm no longer finding this thing funny anymore. Can you imagine? This boy is still following me around. Following me around everywhere, like even in my office. He'll follow me there, still sending me gifts. Can you imagine? Okay, now he followed me to my car. I just told him that if he doesn't leave me, I'm going to start shouting. And he left me. He's very lucky that he would have seen crazy. Babe, I think you should forgive him. Now, bomb on me, press, not be say a kid person. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Listen, okay? If he reaches out again, just hear him out. Put an open mind, I beg. I beg, I don't hear that, babe. I beg, I don't hear Up for hours, we got face to face. The primary stages. You can't imagine how I felt when I kissed your face. I no longer see to. What's making you tired? Please, I'm tired now. I had to visit that work, I beg. How far your guest mom now? Guest mm, mom's here. I beg, it's not my anything. Do you know that guy still hasn't gotten the message? Still following me around as if um, I hold his left, left kidney. See, I think you should give him another chance, baby. One step. <laughs> He'll be sounding like my sister. That's the exact thing, same thing he did. We are wise people. Excuse me. <laughs> you know, he's not only wise. Oh. See, I'm going to the hospital tomorrow. Hospital? Why? Well, since we know we are not pregnant, we need to sort out this period issue. Do you want me to come with you? Nah, it's I. Come on, I could go with you. Nah, it's I. Are you sure? Are you <laughs> sure? You know, we could meet some finance doctor. One for you, one for me. Now, for what you want to go with, man? Come on, get out. Come See? on now. Okay, but seriously, just keep me posted, okay? Definitely, I will. Aww. See, I had a busy day at work, so I'm going. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> Two more shots, I'ma lose my grip Stay in my ground when I move my shit yeah. Try to come true like who that bitch yeah. Told her baby I just wanna do my
Tryna do me yawa No use me play I'm the type to chop up My sweet day Hit that booty like Put it up on me Baby drop all of your insecurities Tryna do me yawa No use me play So from the transvaginal scan that was done, I could tell that you have features suggestive of polycystic ovarian syndrome. Poly what? Polycystic ovarian syndrome. You have this look on your face. I don't want you to be worried. It's actually a very, very common endocrine disorder among women. Most of these women will present with features of hirsutism, which is when you have a um, male pattern of hair distribution, for example, um, facial hair, hair on your chest, some women present with acne vulgaris, that's when you have these acne on your face. Some women present with features of menstrual irregularities ranging from amen oligoamenorrhea to amenorrhea. Some women present with um, these features that we just observed on your um, transvaginal scan. What causes this? Okay, so there are really no known cause for it. Okay, it could be genetic, it could be um, lifestyle, like uh, it's been linked to um, smoking. But I don't and, smoke. Yeah, I know you don't smoke, but then again, there are other factors, like I said, it's multifactorial. It could be genetic, it could be environmental factors. So, so there's really nothing to pinpoint on. However, what's known is that there's usually a um, hormonal imbalance, which is why we'll be awaiting your hormonal workup test so i know they took samples from you yeah. so, so are there drugs i can take for this yeah yeah it's it's there are drugs that you could take for this but our medic our treatment is usually tailored towards um and it's individualized okay it's not as though we, you know take away all the things that are wrong with you but we just treat according to what you present with for those women who have presented with um, obesity you know, we talk to them more about lifestyle modification, you know, how to reduce the weight. For those women who present with menstrual irregularities, we can then look at use of um, combined oral contraceptive pills. And for those women who want to actually have babies, we also give them medications for the ovulation, for stimulation of their ovulation. Does it mean I need drugs to get pregnant? No, you don't. What if the drugs don't work? You really do not need drugs. There are some women who live with PCOS that are able to achieve pregnancy spontaneously. If you need medications for this stimulation, yeah, why not? We do that and we also offer IVF in this Royal Ten Hospital. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Okay. Talked for hours, we got face to face. The primary stages. You can't even. Desmond, you are so stubborn. Okay, where, where? Around where? Fine, I'll try to meet you up. Alright, bye. You can't imagine how I felt when I kissed your face. So I listened to Allah. And decided to hear the small out. We went out on a drink and maybe maybe I reacted too much, you know. Or maybe I didn't. Or maybe the conversation went so well. And he didn't realize that pressing bum bum on the first date isn't a stage you get to. But either ways, he has apologized a gazillion times. Maybe I should just give this friendship a chance and this time the front may just be a prince. We got contradicting love. Say that again. Mm -hmm. We got contradicting love. So let's go fight again. Just to make up again I say the coldest things And you get hot again I've been trying to run from love You got me running in Oh